welcome to our bike track. In this video we're going to discover multiple different methods that are going to help us to dig while the dirt is wet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put um, a cooking spray on the shovel so that way hopefully the dirt doesn't stick to it. And if that doesn't work we're going to try to put some car wax on it. Oh. When the dirt sticks to the shovel like this, it makes it very hard to shape and build burbs. Now let's see. Wait, did it work? Oh! That is bad. His YouTube channel is Joe Hanks, so that's kind of... We're going to go on the internet and we're going to look if there's any, like, secret tricks so that way the dirt doesn't stick to your shovel or not. Here's some All right, so let's look for our cooking spray. All right, so we got this uh, cooking spray right here. It's a special batch that uh, is mixed up. I think it has olive oil or something, but you guys can use whatever kind of cooking spray you have that you can just get from the store or whatever. Yep. Yeah. So let's see if it works. All right, so we got this oil on here, so now we're gonna see if it works. See if the shovel sticks to the dirt or not. Whoa. Let me see the bottom of that uh, shovel, Caleb. That works surprisingly well. It's very clean, just a little bit of dirt on there. But it's not sticking nearly like it was before. <laughs> got a little bit of stickage after it wears out, but not too bad at all. Oh, me and Caleb have build, been building uh, jumps and berms over the past few weeks, and we're going to keep adding to them. Um, so, so far we have this 13-foot uh, gap jump, and we made it a table, but it's not really a table. And then up there, we have a 6-foot... Uh, it used to be 6-foot. We changed it. Now it's like 8-foot step down, and there's another top berm up there, and you start up where that car is, and you whip down here. And we're still in, in the making of this berm, and we're gonna put a video on that soon. Yeah. And yeah. All right, Jimmy. We're gonna need to have to close this off before we put some wax on it. That's our mm -hmm. uh, other opportunity that we found on the internet. So, the bad thing about the oil is that it's rubbed off in the dirt and it only lasts for so long. So I'm hoping that if you put the wax on here, maybe it'll stay on the shovel and last a little bit longer. So, I don't know, but we'll see. That's what we think, coming off it. All right, so me and Jimmy are gonna hose this off. Turn on those. Gotta get really clean. Otherwise the wax, wax will not stick to it. All right, let's see if the Windex works. You guys got to help me. Alright, if we put all this, left all this dirt on here, the wax would not stick to the shovel. And we don't even know if it's going to work in the first place, so it needs to be cleaned for our experiment. Spotless. Mm -hmm. Are you the same oil here? What? That video you work? Same what? Same oil? Oh no, this time we're going to use actually uh, car wax. Car wax. So, I'm pretty confident that this is going to work. I, I think there's a good chance. Alright, so that... That shell is looking pretty shiny. I mean, just look at that. Can you see the shine? Uh, you got the wax. Dryers, clean the wax. Alright, Kim. Let's see if that works. Shoot a spray. Alright. We'll go ahead and test it. I mean, me myself, Joe. Hey! Yeah, so get on it. Nice. And even. Ooh. 
there. <laughs> That's just like, spread that around. You guys comment if you think this is gonna work, because I don't know myself. And to quicken up the process, I'm gonna use one of these suckers. Alright, so now we're going over there. Um, Caleb's gonna test it out. Yeah, this is freshly waxed right on here. Alright, let's test it out. Look how shiny that is. Alright, well, let's see if this works better than the oil. Whoa! Back of that shovel, Caleb. Clean. Oh. Clean. I think this may be the solution to all of our problems. Biking with Caleb. The end.